I'm Nam the Hedgehog. Welcome to Lunatico's production's new show called Tales from the Crypt. Some time ago, Sega released a game called Sonic R, a Sonic racing game. The game included characters like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, but there was one new character, a character that most people fear, the Tails doll. Complete the game at 100% and you will be cursed, some people say. There are a few notes I'd like to point out. One, these stories are real. Two, these stories were submitted to the Quacker and Bowen site if you wish to read them. Three, I've never played the game, doubt I will, but it doesn't mean that you can't get cursed. Four, can you feel the sunshine? This frightening piece was submitted by the eerie dark Einstein. A friend of mine was eager for a Sonic racing game. He would come around my house and moan and complain about how Sega should take their fingers out their arse and make a damn racing game. I just agreed with him. I tried to make him forget the idea of a Sonic racing game. I did not wish to speak of the dreaded Sonic R. Alas, one day he remembered how to use his computer and stumbled across a website that talked about Sonic R. He was delighted. His face covered with sweet glee and excitement, he wanted that game more than nothing. He purchased the game off eBay for nothing more than a single dollar. The user he bought it off had no name and no comment. I investigated further and checked the user's profile. To my dreaded horror, I glanced at the silent horror that uploaded to the page. I could not keep this horror to myself. Fearing my friend's life, I rushed over to his house in a hopeless attempt to halt the expected. His door was open. The hinges broken, covered in soft toy stuffing. The walls of his inside looked like Tails doll graffiti. The downstairs was empty. It looked like a messed up dollhouse. All the TVs were on. The screens were blood stained and covered in cracks. I was frightened. I wanted to leave, but I needed to know what happened. My ears bled as I heard the congratulations scream from his bedroom upstairs. I ran up the stairs into his bedroom. It was empty, except for his Sat Sega Saturn and the TV. The character selection screen came up. All of the characters had been unlocked and the game was 100% complete. It was hard to take in. My eyes began to water for some reason. I glanced at the screen again and saw the Tails All character fade away. I took a few steps and something behind me hit me. I slowly turned around and faded at the horror that I saw. In my friend's hand was the evil Tails doll, stained with blood staring at me with its lifeless eyes. I fell to the floor and blacked out, waking up in my room. My mother stood at the side of my bed. I told her the story, which she, re she refused to take in. She replied to me, telling me that my friend never existed. She assured me that no one lived in that house. I knocked my head, trying to take this in. The whole situation was an enigma. I brushed my hair with my hand in my ceiling, only to find tailed off forever and printed on my ceiling. This cautionary catastrophe comes straight from the scary super fairy. It was a mistake that Timmy never had a chance to redeem. I told him. I told him Sonic R was evil. But oh no. He had to do things his way. He purchased it from eBay after hearing about the curse in quackerandbowen.com. He wanted to prove it wrong. Timmy was the kind of kid who played shoot 'em ups Hitman games, and etc. So I was delighted his mother when he played a game that wasn't meant to in a shower of blood. She was so wrong. I called his house the day after he started playing on it. No answer. Just a chilling silence. That was until someone answered the phone with, Timmy can't come to the phone right now, but you can leave your message with me. Tails! The next day, on the news, it turned out that Timmy had, uh, sliced each family member with a metal wire from his Saturn and placed a controller in each of their hands. His own cause of death was unknown. Only a double tail fox with a jewel on his head stood next to him. He was in his living room, with Sonic R completed and the Tails doll character missing.